everybody. Uh, let me put this over here. So today, oh, Catherine King, hi. Today I am going to show you, setting my keyboard aside, show you a new vendor um, that I'm trying out. This one's called Nini's Kitchen Melts. It came in a box like this. I just got a few, um, a few items just to see what they were like. Just some paper. And they're tucked away in there. All right. And so I just got just a couple things. I wanted to try it out. Oh, these are such cute bags. Um, gosh, my nose itches. So she um, gave a, just a quick little invoice. What I got was the coffee house sampler, a bakery sampler, and a fruit sampler. Um, I love coffee scents, love them. My husband doesn't, um, but I thought I could maybe uh, melt them at work or something. So look at this, isn't this cute? Seems to want me. Anyway, so it says sampler set, and this I have fruit, coffee house, bakery. So let's get into these. I just think it's so cute coming in these little bags like this. Oh man, there's actually quite a few scents in here. All right, so what am I in? Fruit. Short attention span. And as always, my co-host is right here. Aren't you, AJ? Bodacious blueberry. Now I love blueberry scents. Oh, that's really good. It's just basic blueberry. There's nothing sweet. There's nothing bakery. It's just plain blueberry. Oh, that'd be really nice to maybe mix with one of my bakery scents. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, dropped one, casualty. So that's what it looks like. All right, oh, let's see what the casualty is. It's cracked, but that's okay. Good day, sunshine. What do we think this one is? Orange. I'm going to try for orange. No, I think it's just plain citrus. Oh, that's really good. Mmm, that is really good. Just a nice, beautiful citrusy scent. Really a bright, beautiful scent. And I love that color, kind of like this um, brilliant yellow. That's nice. All right. Next one, Tangerine Dream. I don't know. Do you guys want me to keep showing you? Let's see. Pookie's down there. All right, so that's Tangerine, and that smelled really close to this one. So let's see. Okay, this is definitely more um, strong. It's a strong Tangerine, where this one's more muted. I'm wondering if maybe this is just like an orange or something. Lovely. I like it. Next one, vanilla sugared grapefruit. Not sure if I like grapefruit scents. Let's see. Excuse me. Actually, I can't really smell it. It's not bad, but it's not very strong. They don't have pour dates on them, but I would assume since they're sampler bags that they were poured a while ago. But it's still really nice. I like it. Blackberry. I love a good blackberry. That one's a nice blackberry. Oh, another crack. But see, at least it seems like breaking right on the, like the scoring. Oh, that's really nice. These are going to make great mixers, I think. Or if you just wanted a pretty, you know, fruit scent. Um, I like fruit scents in my kitchen. Yes, I'm organizing them. I'm kind of that way. I'm a little odd. So there's 10 cents. Summer Orchard. I wonder if the pictures show what these are. Well... Good day sunshine to show sunshine. Summer orchard, orchard's like this really pretty, 
Oh, it's kind of a peachy color, I'd say. Oh. It's peach, but I think that's a weird peach. I don't think it's George peach. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll like it better when I melt it. All right. Coconut mango. AJ likes that one. You like that one, boy, boy? That one's really light. It's really, really super light, guys. I can't, it's not like I can pick out coconut or mango. Um, so, purely pear. It's in a nice, pretty green color. Yeah, that's just a nice sweet pear. That one's nice. Vermont Honey Apple. It's a pretty pink color. Hmm. That one smells like it's got some kind of floral in it, though. What do you think, AJ? You think that's okay? It's okay. Um, it's kind of light. But it does seem like there might be some kind of floral in it. I'm not sure. And then the last one in the fruit sampler is pomegranate. And I love pomegranate. And I don't think I like this one. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like that one. My favorite pomegranate I've ever found is um, Sensi's Perfectly Pomegranate. Um, so that's kind of what I judge every pomegranate against. So, all right. So that was the fruit sampler. I never can seem to roll these down, kind of like the Hostess donut containers. I can never seem to roll them down as nice. All right. Um, bakery. Always one of my favorites. Almost had another, another casualty. A lot of orange colors in here. All right. My favorite category. They all look very pretty. All right, so first one is orange caramel cake. It's funny how he always has to be in here during my videos, huh? Oof. So far, I haven't been doing very good. I guess it's okay. Not my favorite. Strawberry pound cake, that's an absolute must. I think it, I think it tastes, or tastes, smells more like the pound cake than the strawberry. I sometimes like it when there's a bit more strawberry than pound cake, so that's what that one looks like. Gingerbread boy. Now, I don't even like to eat gingerbread, so let's see. Ooh, cinnamony or nutmeggy or spicy. Let's just leave it at that. Oh, there's a tail. Yeah, that one's got a lot of spice in it. I'll probably have to um, dim that one down with something else just because of the spice. Coconut macaroon. So do you guys know the difference between a macaroon and a macaron? If you do, put it down below. Yes, I know the difference. I'm just curious because so, so many people use the wrong one. Um, it's not very coconutty. It's okay. <laughs> anyway, 
pineapple upside down cake. Yes, I'm cracking it myself up just because there's one in here that has the wrong name. All right, pineapple upside down cake. Oh, that's nice. I think the pineapple... Ugh. Oh, I like the pineapple. It could be just just a hair stronger, in my opinion. Um, pretzel nuggets. We'll see how yeasty this one is, right? Ooh. Okay, so picture you're at the mall, which is a place I cannot stand. We call it H-E double, or M-A double hockey sticks is what we call it, because I hate them all. Anyway, and you're going by Auntie Anne's, or Aunt, Aunt, Auntie Anne's pretzels, okay? And they have their dough out there proofing before they're making it. That's what this smells like, is an unmade pretzel with salt. I definitely smell the salt. All right, banana cream pie. Oh, I like that. And actually, the banana, I'm really particular with banana. It's a really nice banana. It's not too runty. Um, it's kind of like a little bit of a mix between Laffy Taffy and a real banana. Closer to the real banana than the Laffy Taffy. All right, home-baked bread, which bread can, it can be done wrong. It's okay. I honestly wouldn't think it's anything special. Boy, I'm not doing very good. Maybe I'm just too judgmental. All right. Lemon lavender scones. I don't smell any lemon. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I don't smell any lemon. But I certainly smell lavender. And I don't smell scone. I like lavender, don't get me wrong, but it's definitely lavender. All right, so remember that question I asked you? The difference between a macaroon and a macaron? Yeah, almond macaroon, which should be actually almond macaron. Just saying. Let's see if I can get it out. It's almond, it's definitely almond. Yeah, and almond takes on kind of a cherry scent for me. I'm not a huge almond person. It has to have a lot of another bakery to it for me to like it. And it was, I don't know, I think a bit too on the just pure almond. And I know that I seem to be pretty judgmental, but I am new to vendor wax. Um, I'm used to um, the scents that I get from Scentsy. I'm not going to apologize for that. That is who I am. Um, and I've noticed that my opinion changes a lot after I've worn the item. So, and, it, and that could be exactly what happens here is my opinion of some of the scents I'm going to love once it's warm. Because there's been other ones that I've smelled and I'm like, ah, mm, no. And then I warm it and I'm like, uh, yep. All right. <sighs> coffee. You could go, all right, you can go wrong with coffee, but I haven't smelled a coffee I haven't liked yet. All right, 10 coffees, and they're all kind of in a, in a hue of like browns and tans, except for this one. This one's called Cinnamon Irish Cream. Let's see if there's too much cinnamon. Oh, I hope not. Um, actually, that's not bad. Siri's trying to talk to me. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't really tell coffee in it. Um, maybe it's more like cinnamon Irish cream without coffee. <laughs> Does that make sense? All right, next one. Godiva Chocolatini. So this one's going to have chocolate in it. Ugh, I hate chocolate. In wax. Let me preface that. In wax. I do not like chocolate in wax. Yeah, that is that is really chocolatey. Um, but maybe 
I can do it with fresh roasted. So let's try fresh roasted next. So maybe the two of those would go really well in the same warmer. So kind of, you know, add some creaminess to my really deep, rich, dark chocolate or coffee. Mmm. Look how beautiful and dark that is. Oh, that one's nice. Fresh roasted. Love it. All right. Snickers candy bar coffee. Now, I do like a good Snickers coffee. Ooh, this one is good. Um, I almost think it, you can definitely tell the Snickers in it, but I think it could have just a touch more coffee. Oh, but that is really nice. Really, really, really nice. I might have to order some more coffee scents. I think so far out of everything, her coffee, I like. And I'm quite particular on my coffee because I've smelled some. There is this one uh, local, um, well, I don't think it's local. It's called Tractor Supply. But anyway, they have a, it was around the holidays. They had different like wax bundles and their coffee was okay, which I, I don't know who the maker of it was or anything. And it was just okay. Oh, this one's kind of weird. Toasted, oh, toasted coconut mocha. That's why. And smell the coconut in it. That's different. Um, I can definitely smell the coconut in that. Cinnamon nut cappuccino. Kind of an interesting color, to be quite honest. Ew. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. That one's just uh, cinnamon weirdness. All right, creamy caramel coffee. It's a yellow. Oh, gosh. It's nice. I just think it's a little heavy on the caramel. Maybe I just really like the just pure coffee. Maybe that's what I'm liking. Oh, gingerbread latte. Here's another gingerbread. Yeah. Actually, it's not bad. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, you can smell the coffee and you can smell a hint of the cinnamon from the gingerbread. I know I'm going to warm all of these and I'm probably going to end up loading them all. So, cardamom mocha. Oh, actually, that one's kind of different. Ooh, I actually like the cardamom in that. Hmm, I like it. I do think a lot of these, though, I'm probably going to want to mix with more of like that fresh coffee scent um, to make it more of a rich coffee with maybe a hint of something else. So the last one is Caramel Cinnamon Macchiato. So let's see what this one is. You can smell the cinnamon. Hmm. Don't smell much of the caramel. Um, that one's not bad. The bag as a whole, here, you want to smell it? Smells really good. Don't you wish we had smell vision? Anyway, so those are the samplers I got. Um, I wanted to check them out. Uh, I don't even know how I came across them. Maybe another YouTube video I was watching that wouldn't surprise me. I watch them all day, uh, all day long. So that's it. So those are the three samplers. Um... If you want to go ahead and check them out, um, it's the, oh, it doesn't have the price. Um, I, gosh, I thought they were like $12 a piece, um, but it's Nini Kitchen, Nini's Kitchen Melts, and I think they're $12 a piece, which I think is really a great price for, for trying some new scents. And I think a lot of these will make really, really good mixers. So that's all I got for you today. Technically, that's bad phrasing. It's all I have for you today. <sighs> yeah, I'm one, I'm one of those. Um, so if you, thanks for uh, hanging out with me for 20 minutes. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's faster than some of my other videos. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. I don't know what my next haul is, but oh, hmm. Yeah, it's going to be a big one, so you'll need your, <laughs> you'll need your coffee on the next one. Catch you later.